It's very interesting that you made this comparison saying that, you know, perhaps it's better to stick to large caps out after the outperformance we've seen in the mid caps because Nigel has put together some very interesting data for us as well. Nigel, the broader markets have been outperforming, but now the narrative is that perhaps some consolidation on the cards. Well, uh, you know, Sonia, at times when the music is good, the party is uh, rocking, the drinks are flowing, it's always good, right? You need to keep partying <laughs> because that's the way the party is going. But maybe sometimes you pause for breath. You know, and then you resume the party, resume dancing, or maybe stand a little bit closer to the exit. May not be such a bad thing. So let's get to the point then. Will the, you know, some bit of consolidation in the broader markets be healthy actually? And just a few points that I want to put up. There are around four points that I'm going to highlight. One is, you know, you had a CLSE note that came in there. They said that the investor sentiment, well, it's entering into the bullish uh, zone. So maybe extremely bullish zone. So that's point number one. The second factor is, uh, you know, the valuations. If you're looking at the mid-cap and the nifty valuations, well, you just compare the two. The mid-cap PE is normally at a premium of close to around you know, 15% approximately, mid-teens in comparison to the nifty. Now you have the mid-caps that have outperformed. So that valuation gap, as it is, the nifty is trading 5% higher than its 10-year average. And the mid-cap PE is at a premium of close to around 20% in comparison to the nifty PE. So that's about the valuation uh, front. Next, moving to the earnings yield that Pankaj just spoke about. Well, you have the large, mid, small, and micro cap. Now, the yields out there, well, they have narrowed quite a bit because of the rally we have seen. When the stock prices uh, move up, the yield has come down. Remember, a few years ago, we had the micro cap, the small cap yields. Maybe they were in double digits as well. But because the kind of run that we have seen, well, that's narrowed down a little bit. So let's compare the yield spread to the large cap. That is nothing but the yield that you're getting on the mid in comparison to the large cap names. And that's, uh, you know, narrowed down considerably. In fact, you just compare what it is at currently and what's the 10-year average. You'll see that it's trading a little bit lower than that. So the yield spread to large cap, well, that's come down considerably as well. And finally, the mid and the small cap contribution to the total market capitalization, the point that Pankaj yet again made. Uh, you know, in 2008, we had seen these sort of levels when it constituted closer on 29%. And from there, we saw a bit of a pullback. In December 2017 as well, it reached at 27, 28% odd. As we speak, it's at around 28% odd. So some word of caution, maybe some bit of consolidation from the broader markets may not be such a bad idea. Pankaj, you want to come in on this?